never get free Lamb to the slaughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water The price of your greed is your son and your daughter What you gon' do when there's blood in the water Look me in my eyes Tell me everything's not fine All the people ain't happy Hi guys, this is Ravenclaw What If. Welcome back to another What If story. Now this is What If Deku had Demon Shadow Part 2. I've been trying to record this for a while now. It's just something with the audio, it's messing up. I don't know why it's getting irritated. But let's see if we can get this done well. Okay, I'm... Okay, I'm back. So hopefully the audio doesn't mess up. I probably just can't move my iPad. That's probably my issue here. Just give me a second here. Alright, now Inko's quirk has something to do with snakes. So does Lilith, her sister. Inko is able to summon this half robotic snake. They're pretty much robotic snakes basically what it comes down to. And this is Lilith's is, um, quirk. She's able to summon this or create this. And, um, this is Kikyo's, not Kikyo's, um, Kindie, 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 able to transform into a snake like, um, Izuku, but her snake's a lot more balanced out, a lot more nice. She's able to control it more, it's more of like a, wait, what would the word be called, um, a lot more calmer. She's able to control this easily. Izuku's a lot more, um, Izuku's is a lot more, you know, primal. As they're dragging off Izuku, as Izuku's, they're pulling by his hand, as Inku's like, goes, walks him and slaps, backhands him. What do you think you're doing? You tell him to bring him in. He's, he might be a danger, but he's still a child. As she lifts him up. And takes them to the helicopter. As they um, get out of the helicopter. As before they leave. Sorry about that. Kindy Day. Where are you taking him? As Inka is like. You won't be seeing him for a while. I'm a t We're taking him under our custody. And... I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this, with this, with, uh, with this kid. As Inko gets in the helicopter, as they fly up, as they get, as they, um, ascend, as they get a good amount of distance, as Inko's like, Inko's like, do it now. As a portal opens, as they go through it, as one of the, one of her, um, subordinates has a teleport, a teleportation quirk. How it works, he's only able to teleport to one location that he's been, and he has it always set to the base. As they're, as they're descending to the base, as they see a woman with white hair, as ink goes like, crap. As he goes like crap. <sighs> As she gets the professional face on. Because she doesn't want to deal with her sister right now. As they get. As they land. As Lilith is irritated. As she said I told you to get the boy unharmed. Explain that. As she's like. <sighs> Sis. Director. Director, I couldn't risk him going, going wild, so I tranked him. And she grabs Izuku away from Inka. As, as they're walking through the base, as she has Izuku, as she's like, why are you so difficult sometimes, Inka? Sis. Why aren't we going into the holding cells? 
<laughs> the boy's not going into a jail cell. I'm not going to have you put a six-year-old in the jail cell. That's just not going to happen. As they get to her office, as Izuku has a court canceling collar on him, because Inka, when they um, when she tranked him, as soon as he, she put that collar on him as soon as she could. As they get in the office, as was Inko, sit down. As she sits down, as she goes to to to, uh, to the intercom to call someone, as she's like, "Doctor, I need you here now, and bring your blood and." I need some blood taken. As a couple minutes later, Izuku's on, like, there's a bed in there. As a couple minutes later, as a, a doctor comes in, takes Izuku's blood, I want to analyze. I want to know who's the kid, who's this child's parents, their family. I want, once you find out who the parents, background check on the whole family. And find out what the hell, what the hell happened. As Inko got a call from one of her soldiers, uh, one of her subordinates, subordinates, as she steps out for a second, as you have Izuku laying in the bed in the office, as he's been awake for a little bit, he's. He doesn't know his situation. As he's like, damn it. What do I do? As Lilith. Huh, I see you finally decided to speak up. I know you've been awake for a while, kid. So no, there's no reason for you to play possum. As Izuku gets up. As he's still groggy. As she tried to help him, as he slaps her hand away, don't touch me. As he's like, I don't know what you're after, but it's not going to end well for you. And she's like, oh, huh. aren't you a smoky one? As Izuku, while he's talking to her, he's been scanning the room for any weapons. Because he's noticed his collar, his new accessory. As she's like, huh, aren't you a Zervin one? As she walks over to Izuku. As she's like, here, let me get that off you. As soon as she takes the collar off, Izuku goes into attack. As a, as his shadow snake appear in his palm. As he's charging a blast. As Izuku says, die. As... Lilith well, smiles as she, as this metal thing wraps around Izuku. Izuku's like, what the hell? As, as she's like, your cork's very interesting. But you're way too green, boy. I have more practice under my belt. Now behave. Do we have agreement or sh or sh or should I squeeze? As she almost has her hand in her fist, about to squeeze a little bit. As as, as she squeezes a little bit, just to make sure he gets the gist of it. To make sure he gets like the point of it. As she's like, fine. As she smiles, very good. Now, what is your name, young one? As he's like. As Izuku's like, my designation is Specimen Zero. As she looks at him oddly, that's no name. I don't like being lied to. As she gets closer to him, she's like, she's taller, way taller than him because he's still like five, six years old. That's as easy as that is what they called me. And she's like, who? 
Uh, she's trying to get a, a information out of him. As he's like the lab coats. Uh, she's she's kind of shocked about lab coats. And she's like, where's your parents? As he doesn't understand. As he's like, I don't understand the question. Please specify. And she's like, oh. the person that gave you birth. As he's like, I don't know. All I remember is the test tube, then the, then the cell with the rest of the children. And she's like, wait, 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 don't tell me. Because she rated that. She, no, they haven't been there yet, so they know nothing about that. So, so she's like, so do you know where... All right, let's see. Do you know the location of where you were, where you're placed? As he's, he's like, affirmative. Very good. As Izuku looks up at her, as he's like, I need nourishment. And she's like, what? And she smiles, because she hears Izuku's throat. Oh, you're hungry. I guess we could, just, I guess we could feed you. After all, you're going to be here a while. As she takes the easy hand as she's walking down the the corridor, the hallway of the base. As she's arguing, as as you have Izuku, well, Subject Zero right now, and his um, guardian for right now. Well, the one who's not sure on that yet, but um, as Lilith, as Izuku sees, you know, Inko. As he goes straight into the charge, creates a shadow knife and throws it. As Inko was unaware of it, as it pe it pierced her cheek, as he goes in with a charge blast, as a snake, as he had a snake pop out of his hand, shadow snake, as it charges up a um, blast. As she grabs Izuku's hand, his wrist. What did I say? Behave. Or shall I... Shall I remind you? As Izuku... Fine. As he gives Inko the death glare. As, as a little bit laughing. I told you, sister, you should have put that thing in the cell. And she's like, don't worry. He'll behave, won't you, Izu? Won't you, young man? As Izu goes, yes, ma'am. That's good. Now let's go get you something to eat. As Lilith takes him to the, um, the mess hall. As Izu goes, scarfing up food. As everyone's just watching this. As his snakes are out, as they're just hovering around him, like in the picture, as Lilith, what did I say, Izuku? I have no, <laughs> they do that occasionally. They don't like being kept. They don't like being kept inside. As, a, a, like, you know, uh, let's say, um, let's say about a week has passed by. As Inko and, um, Lilith are talking about what they're going to do with, um, the boy. As the doc, as we cut to the doctor, as he's like, my God. As he runs off with the results. As the doctor gets Inko's attention as... Lilith is more, her tension's on Izuku more. And it's just making sure he behaves himself. And she's like, ma'am, here's the results. And she's like, please don't shoot the messenger. As she, she, uh, the doctor hands it over. As she, 
her eyes widen as she drops the um the file as she grabs the lady by the um collar and has her up against that wall up in the air this must be wrong and she's like no i double checked it several times the dna matches was yours as lilith picks it up as she reads through it Dear sister, seems like, don't know how, because you've never had a boyfriend, so I don't know how that happened, but according to this, yeah, it's all legit. I said no. Uh, <laughs> Did you forget? I, I, you know, <laughs> I have a doctor, a, I'm also a doctor myself. Everything's legit wise. She would never make a mistake, so would you please... Release the good old doctor. I wish for you not to rough her up. And she's like, fine. And she's like, I want to know how. You, tell me. And she gets up near Izuku. As Izuku doesn't even pay attention to her. I'm talking to you, boy. As Lilith butts in. Let, you need to calm down, sis. Calm down. There's no way this child's mine. You know more. You know more than everyone. I hate children. As she storms off, she's pissed. As she turns her attention to Zuku, as she's like, "Shit, uh, my sister's not gonna calm down. Hopefully, she's gonna try to kill her own son now." And she's like, son, that's, that's a trip. All right, e, all right, little one, let's go. As they go back to her office, let's go here. Sorry, guys, I have to get over here first. There we go. As she closes the door, as she's like, I want to know exactly what these lab coats were doing and what was your purpose? As Izuku's like, I don't, I don't know their purpose. All I was told to, to take out targets, that's all. That's the extent of my knowledge. And when I got free from the control, I killed them all. <sighs> Alright. Give me the location, as Izuku gives her the location. Looks like me and you and your mother are going on a field trip. Zuzuku gets pissed off. There's no way in hell that lady's my mother. As she's... Ah, here. <laughs> she laughs because he's exactly like Inka. It's a bit of an anger problem. So does she. Uh, you don't realize. <laughs> you're, you're too much alike. As Zuzuku's trying to protest. Enough. Let's go. As she calls Inka... And she's like, what do you want, sister? We're going on a little field trip. Why? Here. And she hands her a file on these... A file on everything that she dug up. On this, you know, um, off camera. So, you know, Izuku has been telling her bit by bit, Lilith, because, you know, he's the only one that he semi-likes, so... That he won't attack because he knows he can't beat her. And she's like, you're bringing him? And she's like, of course. It, it evolves around him. And this will... And we're... We're going to find out what exactly... Who these people were and how... Young Izuku was created. The young one was created. Fine. I want to see who did this. And, and pay him back. As they get on the helicopter, as they travel to the location where Izuku said, as they get into the um, the facility, as the children book it after Izuku killed everything, everyone, as they walk in with a bunch of bodies everywhere, as Lilith. Ow, out of instinct, cover Izuku's eyes. 
as he's like, what are you doing? A young child shouldn't, you know, shouldn't see something like this as Inca scoffs. <laughs> that thing is, <laughs> he might look like a child, but he's a lot more <laughs> mature than you think. As he pulls, he pulls her hand away from her. I've seen this. I'm the one who did it. As if you're looking for information, go to that corridor over there. There's a room in there. You said, um, all the database would be all in there. As they go through, as they go through all the experiments that they put these kids through, especially Izuku, as Inka is pissed, as she found out how they got her blood, and the girl that she threatened to throw in jail is actually her daughter too, as that was in the database. They um, discarded it. They discarded her because they thought she was a failure. All the information on, on, on all the subjects are in this base that is like killed. <laughs> so as they get everything, as they um, copy everything on a flash drive. All right, sis, let's head back. As they head back to helicopter, as Lilith drops Izuku to in his room, he has his own little room now. As they get back to her office, as Lilith sits down, as she rubs her forehead, as Inga, so what's the plan with the boy? We're gonna have things gonna have to change. For one, you need to stop being so hostile towards the boy. After all, he is family now. We need to get a we need to get a touch with your other child, the oldest, the one that goes by Kennedy. Then we'll go from there. What do you mean, sis? I understand your your grievance on the on the young man. His quirks is very dangerous. But but we need to harness this power, his quirk, and make sure he doesn't fall down the wrong path that he was already heading down. What I've seen in the uh, database, what they had him do, it's disturbing none the least. And this is not over. Izuku might have... He might have killed everyone there. In that one. In that one um, base. But that's... That weren't... That, no way in hell that was their home base. So they're out there. Just buying their time. We need to take them out. Agreed, sister. As Inko agrees with, the, with her sister. She wants to make these people suffer. So what? Yeah, what are you su suggesting with the boy? Well, you are going to deal with it. And she's like, "What? You're going to train the boy? You're going to train him and implement him in the task force? I have plans for him. After all, he's family and." He's the next generation of our family now. So I need to, I need to make arrangements. And for starters, you need to name him. And she's like, what? He's your son. Name him. She's like, you should name him. He, <laughs> he's a lot more friendly with you. I'm his aunt. You're his mother. I know the new concept to you, but this is how it's going to be. You're gonna name the boy. You're gonna you're going to get along. And you're gonna care for him like he's your actual son that he is. That's the order. And she's fine, si director, sister. <sighs> Trust me, Inko. Once you get over this little thing with children. As she's, you know why I don't like children. 
I know, sis, I know that what you saw was very disturbing in the reports. But he's they're not like the other ones. As she had a small pause. She had a they were weaponizing children. Same organization. They they don't know that yet, but yeah, Inko had to uh, kill a lot of younglings using Star Wars reference. Kill a lot of younglings because there was a threat. They hadn't. She had no choice. She didn't want to. That's when she became all like, she was pretty young when that happened. So she was like, she was hardened from that experience. So yeah, we're gonna probably stop it there. Hope this audio is all right. So I really don't want to do this episode. I really don't want to do this part again. Hope you guys have a good night and day. Judging my time zones. All right, bye.